Hi, I'm Attorney Ben Schwartz. Today we're going to talk about what happens, basically we're going to talk about what happens if the steering wheel falls off in your hands. And we had the situation where, you know, we uh, did a previous post where we were talking about situations where someone is driving and they've got the steering wheel and suddenly they can't control the vehicle because the steering wheel comes off in their hands. And so people want to know, you know, what legally, like, how do you think about this? Legally, how do you analyze this situation? And so, uh, you know, I would say that there are cases like this where it's a design defect uh, in, the, in the vehicle itself. Uh, and I'll give you some examples, you know, of design defect type of situations. These are not cases where a steering wheel came off in someone's hand, but you know, there are known design defects in some of the vehicles that are out on the roadways today. Uh, one example would be Takata airbags. Uh, Takata manufactured airbags in a lot of vehicles that are on the roadways, and there's a defect in the airbag in that uh, a metal shrapnel can shoot out when the airbag comes out, and you can actually get shot by the shrapnel, and that can cause injuries. You know, another type, another example of a design defect case is that there are GM vehicles um, where the ignition switch is defective and the switch will turn the vehicle off while you're driving and if you're not prepared for it, you can crash uh, because your power steering goes out. So, you know, it's not common and it's not something that I think that people talk about a lot but there are design defects. So if the steering wheel comes off in your hands, one of the questions that an attorney is going to want to answer is, did the steering wheel come off in your hands because of a design defect? And so, you know, if you have this happen, that's one big question mark that needs an answer. The other question that you have to, uh, that you have to raise, that you have to answer as a personal injury attorney in this type of situation is, was there maintenance done on that steering column or on whatever you know whatever went wrong with the vehicle? Was there maintenance done? Uh, for example, if you have the steering wheel come off in your hands, had someone disassembled the steering column in order to do a repair? Uh, had someone taken the steering wheel off and not put it back on properly? So when you have something, when you have an accident that occurs because of a problem with the car itself, one of the questions that needs to be answered is, was there maintenance done and was the maintenance done correctly? Now, this leads me up to one big point and the big point that I want to make is that if this happens to you or someone you know, if you are considering pursuing a legal claim, you need to preserve the evidence. You know, oftentimes we see cases where the vehicle has been declared a total loss, the insurance company totals it out and the vehicle's gone. If you have an accident where you believe that the accident was caused due to a defect with the vehicle, before you sign off on the power of attorney for the insurance company, before you authorize them to take the vehicle away and get it out of storage, you need to contact an attorney in the jurisdiction in the area where the accident happened you need to contact a, a qualified personal injury attorney who can go out and impound the vehicle, basically, you know, preserve the vehicle so that it doesn't get taken away, so that an engineer or an other expert can examine the vehicle and answer these questions. So, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Uh, this has been my video on what happens if the steering wheel comes off in your hands or you end up in an auto accident due to something wrong with your car. I hope you found it informative. Hopefully you never have this situation, but if you did have this situation, hopefully you found this to be helpful. If you have questions for me, you can reach me by email. My email address is ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. If you want to check us out on Facebook, we're at facebook.com slash schwartzandschwartz. You can leave us a comment there. You can submit a, uh, face a message through Facebook Messenger as well.